What's up guys, it's FC and today I'm actually doing a tutorial on how to add the watermark to your project using Adobe Premiere Pro for Mac users. Um, Sazbin or Jeff from Huppet has already done a tutorial on the website on how to do it for the PC guys and this is just a quick one for the Mac or Apple guys. So we start off by starting up, starting up Adobe Premiere Pro, you're going to hit the new project here. You're going to name it whatever you want to name it. So this one I'm going to name Tutorial WM for Watermark. Hit OK. Go to the Generals tab here. I usually go to HDV 720p there. And other than that, just go ahead and hit OK. And your folder should start up here. Awesome. Then we're going to go ahead and add the watermark here. So I have it right here. The overlay. Now what you're going to see is that mine's an MP4 format. Um, now, if you previously downloaded the watermark from the website, it was in a WMV format. Now, WMV works perfectly fine on PCs, but unfortunately for Mac users, you are not uh, going to be able to import it because it doesn't support it. So what I had to do personally is I had to make it into an MP4 format. Now, the good news is, though, that on the website, Jeff has changed that to an MP4 now. So just go back to the website and re-download it and you'll have an MP4 format you won't have to convert. So grab this, you drag it in. There you go. And you'll see it show up on you, your, your uh, projects over here. And then you want to grab a clip that you have, bring it over. So I'll add that right there. All right, sweet. And let's go ahead and move this this is your movie file so we're gonna move this whoops I'm gonna put it on the timeline itself right and then what we're gonna do is drag our overlay here grab it we're gonna put it over our clip now my original clip is not long enough to support the whole thing but your clips will most likely be uh, long enough there so then what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit the uh, overlay clip there and this is gonna pop up your options right up here you go to the opacity right you go to the blend mode and you're gonna change that to screen once it's set to screen you'll see that once you play the movie like I am going to right now hopefully it starts playing now there we go you see that the watermark is actually up here now the video is a little laggy but you'll see that the that the watermark is up there already Okay, so now you ask, what if my file is longer than, you know, is a lot longer and the clip finishes? Well, if the clip does finish, all you got to do is first deselect these real quick. You can go here, you can go edit, copy, right? Stick the marker there and go edit, paste. And you can do that. You can use your hotkeys for that. Um, and you could paste it as many times as you need. Now say this over overlaps and the clip is something like this and you have all this right here of extra overlay, that's fine. All you gotta do is go to the end right here. You're gonna see the little bracket turn red, just grab it, bring it in. Once it snaps in, let it go. Automatically clips the 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 overlay to your movie. So that's really all you gotta do. Now in regards to iMovie guys. Um, I've been trying to figure it out for the last couple hours and I can't seem to figure it out. If anybody knows how to do it, please shoot me a message because uh, I still haven't figured out how to do it. I don't usually use iMovie. I use Adobe Premiere Pro. This will also work for PC. Um, even though Jeff has a tutorial on there, uh, this will either work on PC or Mac. Um, and other than that, guys, later.